Hello everyone, Gen Obvious, and this is a Unity tutorial on uh, adding animation to a model. Have you ever gotten a model off of the internet and it has animation and it's really cool and you're like, oh man, I want to make that work in VR chat. Well, this is the video for you. So what I've done, I uh, created a folder. I put a Star Wars battle droid in here with an animation on it. And I'm going to show you how to make that work in VR chat. Because normally, if you just drop that thing in there, it's not going to do nothing. It's just going to stay there and be silent. Um, so, what I've done is imported a battle droid, Star Wars. And we've got the information up here. I've already added the materials to it. And there's materials, if you want to see that. I've already created the materials here. But we're going to concentrate on the animation. Uh, let's go ahead and do the mesh compression. This will cut down on your world size. We're not going to generate colliders because we're going to put an animation on here. Um, and then we're going to hit apply. Uh, you can generate light map UVs. Uh, be careful on some models. Uh, Unity tends to hang up. All right, so the next thing is animation. Now, if you come down here, you notice it says scene. Go ahead and change that so you know what it is. We're going to change it to battle droid. And if you want it to loop, meaning the animation starts, stops, and just continuously in a loop, you can go ahead and check that. If you don't want it to loop, do not check that. All right, so we've got our battle droid animation named. We're going to hit apply and it's going to rename that animation. All right, next thing we want to do, let's go ahead and put him in here. Now he's pretty small here. I'm going to go ahead and size him up so you can see and see the animation when it does work. Okay, there he is. All right, so right now he's just not going to do anything. We need to create an animator. So we're going to go into our folder down here, create animator controller. And we're going to go ahead and name that Battle Board. We're going to double click, hold my middle mouse button scroll so we can see everything. Uh, just click in the middle, right click create state empty click on that let's go ahead and name this battle droid and motion we're going to find our animator that we made Your controller click on battle droid so now we've got this all set up let's go back to our scene click on our model battle droid right now this is all the stuff for the battle droid you're going to unpack prefab completely all right now the top parent right here the very top don't worry about this other stuff unless you have a lighter camera in here you can delete it if it does import all right so let's go ahead and name this battle droid Keep it all the same. You're going to add component. Type in animator. This gives you a controller here. Now we already made our controller down here. So we're going to click there and we're going to find Battle Droid. There it is. All right. So it should work right now. So we're going to go ahead and play and see if this animation works. Here we go. And there it goes. The animation is working. Yes, he's a little big. <laughs> I wanted to make it big so you guys could see it. Pretty cool, huh? And that's how you make the animation work in VR chat. Go ahead and stop that. Um, 
you don't have to worry about this stuff just the controller and that's it guys pretty simple now if you do import a model that does have like multiple uh, animations in a list you can select that one and rename it and so forth so uh, not too difficult most just come with one animation all right so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video